a pleasure to chat with you guys. It's a pleasure uh, to be here. It, it, this is a very exciting thing to me because, you know, it's a very big production. Uh, speaking on the side of actual producing, yeah. what was it like bringing this together? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was, you know, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I probably will have four or five more TV shows in me for the rest of my career and I will never have anything like this again. And, and, that, and I mean that both on the in the challenges of it, but also more the, the just the total creative freedom that we had. It, it was, we had 27 different nationalities coming from, uh, coming to both cast and crew. We shot in Kazakhstan, Malaysia, and the, and the canals of Venice. Uh, and everything that we, that we were, all the freedom we were given to create is on the screen. It's, it's absolutely the most spectacular thing that people will ever see. Uh, on screen, you know, once you're in this kind of role, what was it like experiencing this kind of production? It was incredible. It was such an incredible experience from, from the time I put down my first audition tape to the time I actually stepped on set for the first time. Everything was so epic and, and bigger in scope than anything I've ever done. Um, so the role itself felt like the role of a lifetime. <laughs> well, tell us a little bit about the role, actually. Uh, I play Mei Lin. So I liken her to the girl from the wrong side of the tracks just 800 years ago in China. And she's actually based on a real woman who became somewhat of a historical footnote. Um, but she captured the imagination of our show creator, John Fusco. And he turned her into this incredible warrior spirit who is um, a royal concubine, um, a very loving and protective mother who, in order to save her daughter, goes undercover as almost a double agent in the Khan's court. And it really is, I mean, that's kind of one of the big things that comes out is, I mean, the battles, basically, is what we're getting into. Uh, you actually do a bit of the fighting. What, what's that like? <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was awesome. Like, every actor dreams of getting trained in something, like kind of getting paid to get really fit, learn a new skill, and I trained for two months before rolling anything and I got the opportunity to work with like world-class stunt teams from China, the United States, Canada, all across Europe. It was an amazing opportunity. Uh, on the other side, mm -hmm. staging all these things, I mean, how much, I, I guess we don't understand watching this, how long does it take to plan out some of these big sequences? Oh, well, the planning is months. I mean, they, uh, from step one to step 8,073, hmm. it, it takes months. And, and we didn't want to take any risks with anyone. So in terms of that, it was, uh, it was challenging. But, I mean, even on the days when we were shooting, I think that our action sequences, for the most part, some of the, even the, like the intimate ones, the, the couple that you were in, took three days to shoot mm -hmm. just, one, just one sequence. Wow. Um, and then when, you're, when we were shooting in Kazakhstan, we have these armies of people that it's, you know, like literally herding cats in, in a way. It was, uh, it, it was the, the amount of planning they win was, was spectacular. And, but the fact is that we had an astounding team and everybody from Brett Chan, who was running our stunts, to our, our ADs, to our cinematographers. I mean, I, I say we, we could have fielded an entire hockey team just with the number of Oscar and Emmy nominated people that we've got, which... Uh, you know, from uh, Lily Kilbert, who was our production designer, who was nominated for Last Samurai, to Tim Yip, who won for uh, Crouching Tiger, John Fusco, our creator, for uh, was nominated for an Oscar as well. I mean, we we have an astounding team, an astounding breadth of experience, and the one common theme, and I think the common thing that everybody said was they have never and will never work on anything like this mm -hmm. again. And that's that's saying something wow. from from a group like that. Uh on, on screen and everything else, did you have any moments where things were even more intense than you expected? I mean, action-wise or drama or anything like that? I think when I do the big white moon stunt sequence, the first go I had at it, it's one thing to do it in a stunt tent every day. It's another thing to step onto set, be fully costumed, have like a 10 pound wig on your head and suddenly have guys in full soldier gear running at you with swords and spears with 150 people standing around watching. That was way more intense than anything I could have anticipated and you just have to go with it. Is it even strange the fact that yeah like there's all these people watching as you're doing these big scenes? Is, does that make it almost like a strange kind of uh, you know <laughs> I guess fear of performance you know? <laughs> when people are standing around 
watching you do something that you're not really sure how it's gonna go. Eating yeah. a muffin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so that's, that's, that's me eating my feelings. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Listen, it's 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 not the most natural situation, but you know what you're signing up for. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, last question is really, what were your favorite moments that came out once once the whole thing had wrapped? Was there one particular thing that either of you experienced that was like the best part for you? Take it if you've got a moment you can think of. Um, I will probably have to say that the shooting in Venice on the canals, I know that that sounds kind of like a cop-out answer, but you're getting paid to go and play make-believe in the canals of Venice yeah. where Marco was first, where Marco came from. I mean, and that was our first S section of shooting. So wow. what a way to kick it off other than do that. But it really is, I think there's a reason why we're stumbling over this, is that the whole experience was one that I, I don't know how you begin to put into wor words as a, as a creative type yeah. being what's your favorite moment is in a thing like this. Yeah. It's, it's difficult to narrow down to one moment because every scene, every moment, there was something so different about each one. So it feels like you're trying to name who your favorite child is. I could do that easier, <laughs> you could. actually, for sure. <laughs> well, thank you guys very much. Pleasure.